hey guys it's x welcome back to my channel so i bought this synthetic wig that i'm going to show you guys how i plucked and installed it's a cute synthetic wig i didn't like the curls or anything i ended up straightening it because i it just kept tangling like really really bad but of course it's 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 a synthetic wig so first i started by placing the wig on my mannequin head my messed up mannequin head it's kind of messed up so i took small pieces wrapped them around my finger and pulled because that's the only way you can pull um the hair out of a synthetic lace frontal the, just like i'm doing i'm grabbing pieces twisting around and pulling do not take a big giant piece and pull because it will rip a hole inside of your wig you need to take your time while doing this all of this takes time and patience time and patience keep pulling keep going make the um part as wide as possible this part up here was like one inch long i think but it was still it was still cute um it just needed to be a little bit fixed a little bit yeah i think towards the end yeah i'm not gonna go i'm not gonna jump too far but just keep doing this it's gonna take you like 20 30 20 20 30 minutes to do this to get that part open uh it's gonna be a clip up here where i show y'all the results like i'm just showing y'all how long or well this is like a fast i'm fast forwarding but it's i'm really not going this fast so it's gonna take you a while like 20 30 minutes to wrap around pull wrap around pull wrap around pull i just put some mousse up there to smooth it out so i can see what i'm doing the hair is actually really nice and really soft it just keeps tangling so i'm just doing that all the way around so here is where i'm showing y'all the difference and i accidentally pulled too much on that side but i did a really good job like pulling like for the past 20 30 minutes like pulling all of that out <laughs> so that I can make a part you can even make the part even wider than that but I didn't have time for that so just do what you need to do now we're going to do the sides see how the sides are I'm going to part the sides I'm going to show y'all in a second here part the side out and then you doing the same exact thing that you did to your middle part you pulling little parts wrapping around your hand or little pieces of the hair wrapping it around your hand and then pulling gently because you will rip a hole inside your lace you don't have to pluck so much like if you don't really plan on wearing this wig all the time or if this is just your go-to wig and plus this was just something i would just wanted to like grab a blue wig just to take pictures in like this is not something that i was gonna be wearing every day this was just something to do videos in and to take pictures in that's it and i'm not going anywhere with it i may cut this into a short bob i may do that and I might record that, me cutting this into a short bob. I might do that. So anyway, I'm going to stop talking so y'all can just watch me twirl and see that. If I would take all this, I was trying to show y'all. If I took all that and pulled it out, it would rip a hole. So you have to take little pieces, small pieces. I know y'all really can't see, but teeny tiny pieces. Pull, twirl and pull, twirl and pull. <laughs>
So now I'm going to flat iron my hair and I was trying to show y'all to leave your flat iron on the lowest limit so it don't burn the hair or it don't like because when it burn the hair then you can't comb through it then you got to um cut that piece that you burnt you have to put it on the lowest 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 one um so yeah I pretty much straighten it because I didn't want the curls in it because I wanted to run my fingers through it. So I slightly straightened it a little bit. It came out nice. That's all. So I'm showing y'all I used the big uh, paddle brush and the comb to get it straight on the lowest, lowest heat. So if your junk say 290 is the lowest, put it on a 290. If it say 100, put it on 100, probably 180. You know, give it, you can give it a little bit of heat. If, if it's 100, you can go a little bit higher or whatever. But, yeah, so that's pretty much what I did. The paddle brush gets through the hair easily instead of using a little comb. So paddle brush it out first and then, um, it look nice. Paddle brush it out first and then use the small comb. That's that's all I did, really. It took me, like, 10 minutes to do this. I got up early to do this, too. I don't be having nothing to do. I just got up early and started doing this. I had bought this wig. I was like, I'm going to do an Amazon haul. I think I might buy more. I had bought a black wig, synthetic wig that I really loved. But I didn't get it off of Amazon. I got it off of, um, I got it, no, I got it off of, I got it from the hair store. It was a synthetic one for $30, a lace front. So this here is me putting it on. I cut my lace before I put it on because I already know what to do. Don't cut your lace if before you put it on if you don't know what to do can y'all see at the top where it's white at it's white there at the top so we're gonna put some foundation up there that's the foundation i use so it don't be white it can be match your skin tone and when i said i cut the lace i cut the lace in the front but i don't cut the lace by my ears just yet because i don't want to cut too high so once i put it on then i cut the lace by my ears you can see me touching it there you can see it's still there. I'll put that got to be glue up there. Then I'm going to blow dry it on my face. I mean, well, that is part of my face, my forehead. Blow dry it, let it get tacky. Then place the um, lace frontal part right on top of that. It's, it's really easy. Just get your lace frontal, put the got to be glue on, on your forehead. Blow dry it so until it get tacky. Once it feels sticky like, then place your wig, lace wig on top of the got to be glued and then you can use a scarf to lay it down or whatever for about 10 15 minutes and then boom that's it i cut my um ear tabs after after letting it lay um after letting it lay under well i did it before sometimes i do it before sometimes i do it afterwards so apparently this time i did it before i cut my ear tabs before laying it with a scarf because them ear tabs be getting on my nerves they be popping up they don't be laying down so yeah that looked good how i did that i might have to zoom try to zoom in on that one i don't know how to how to really do that one but you can see i'm adding more got to be glued there because it keeps popping up yeah but it was a cute wig though so anyway this is pretty much the end i think or almost the end so y'all let me know in the comment section what y'all think and if i should do another video like this comment down below i'll do more so y'all can see the different types of wigs and if y'all like them or not you know before y'all purchase them let me know and yeah that's pretty much it so please don't forget to leave your comments and subscribe to my channel oh you know what i want to say something about this right here i was trying to show y'all how tangly it was like i got up and it was really long i'm 5'10 by the way i'm a very tall girl very skinny so this hair was really long like and very tangly but it's cool though it's cute that's why I didn't want the curls to be in there because it was just going to tangle too much. I don't have time for that. So, yeah. All right. Now I'm gone. Bye. Peace.